Listen to this. Do you know what happens after your funeral? In a few short hours, the crying will die down. And your family are going to start making arrangements to feed your relatives and, and your friends. Some of your relatives are going to be discussing current events as they eat in Shima, Chihuahua, and Sebi. And some people will call your family to tell them that they can't make it in person because of some emergency. Other people are going to start making travel arrangements to go back to their own homes because life is just too short. And someone in your family is going to start arguing that they contributed more financially than others did. Eventually, the crowd is going to go their separate ways. And every once in a while, your cell phone would ring from people that didn't realize that you had died. In a few days, your children will go back to work. Your employer will begin to search for your replacement. There will be new elections, new scandals, and the traffic on Great East Road will be the same. The Zambia national soccer team will play their games just as planned. In six months, your spouse will be watching a comedy on DSTV and she'll start laughing. The first anniversary of your passing will be celebrated in a grand manner. You will be forgotten at an astonishing pace. Everyone's life will go back to normal. But in a blink of an eye, years are going to have gone by there will be very few people left to remember you. Now tell me, if people will forget you so easily, then who are you living your life for? You spend your whole life worrying what people think about you. They don't, and they won't. Live your life for you.